I would like to quickly point out that John the Mouse video has a large selection of videos from North and South America for your viewing pleasure. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now let's get into the cheese of the matter. This is one of the new generation Iowa rest area by Davenport, Iowa. Westbound rest area was completed in December 2001 and was opened for service in January 2002. This rest area is dedicated to the history of the Mississippi River that's not far from here. For the ones that don't know, it starts in northern Minnesota and ends 2,552 miles later in the Gulf of Mexico. Scott County sits between lock and dams number 14 and 15. Built between 1930 and 1940 by the Army Corps of Engineers, the system improved transportation by creating nine foot channel depth in the upper Mississippi River between Minneapolis, St. Paul, and St. Louis, Missouri. Inside the building, as we go in, you'll see a U.S. Army Corps of Engineers survey marker, giving the elevation of 736 feet in the 1931. As you walk further into the rest area, you will see a map on the floor. The two lower pictures by the bathrooms allow visitors to imagine locking through a Mississippi River Dam. There is a picture on the upper wall part that you can see that looks like a vehicle rail bridge of the government bridge. Neat fact, it was the first bridge across the Mississippi was erected between Rock Island and Davenport. The construction of the bridge started on July 16, 1853 and lasted for three years. Five other bridges were built in this area prior to the completion of Interstate 80 Bridge in 1966. Tiles placed around the walls contain trivia about the Mississippi River. Let's compare moving 787,500 bushels of corn between the different transportation methods. Truck will clock in at 870 trailers. Train will clock in at 225 cars. And the tow boat will clock in at 15 barges. Water from 31 states drains into the Mississippi River. That is 40% of the USA and drops 420 feet in 670 miles. They haul coal upstream and grain downstream. Anyone knows of William Frederick Cody? Some may know him as Buffalo Bill. He was born on a farm not far from here in 1846. So happens to be the same year Iowa was admitted as a state in the USA. John the Mouse travel map is available for Google Maps. It will help plan your route to the locations of your favorite videos. It is free to use. I have the link below. Please visit the playlist tab for videos that I have sorted for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.